So hello, hello. Hi. How are you today? I'm good. I just finished work, so for the day. You're free. I'm free. Free at last. Free at last. So um, Kate just went through quite the meeting on air. Yes. What? It's the boardroom meeting from hell. Right. Never mind. <laughs> doesn't go as well as what she did with Sam a few months back. Probably fine. Is she taken off guard or was she? Yeah, she was totally taken off guard. That doesn't happen very often. That was a, it was a shocker. Right. Shocker. And I think for the moment she sees him, she just knows this is not going to go well. <laughs> Which means it's not going to go her way. Right. You know, but she, you know, she's going to, she's a fighter. Well, that's, you know, what does this mean for her that she's, she's going to lose her seat? I can't imagine that means she's going to give up. No, she's not going to give up. <laughs> she might have to go to plan B, that's for sure. You know, he, uh, he he's back in town, you know, and he wants to take the reins back, you know. I think on top of everything, she's angry because she... Aside from all of the, the Kate stuff and the drama, she has worked so hard right. to get to that position and it becomes almost a glass ceiling thing for her. You know, she got there, she has the power, and, and, and on top of everything, she's doing a damn good job. I mean, she's really doing a, a good and job. And she even got to do it without Sammy. Like She got to do it without Sammy. <laughs> I mean, it's really what she's always wanted. Yeah. And now, really, because of this personal stuff, you know, really baggage from the past, she's you know, she's going to lose it all. And uh, she gets pissed off. She gets pissed off. Who say how does she say she's pissed? She's not hurt. She's pissed. Oh, yeah, she's not hurt. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's not hurt. <laughs> so can we expect her to start percolating some kind of plan down the line? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Who do um, you think should be running things? Like, as, as a watcher? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I definitely think she should be. I think she's earned it. Yeah. I think she really has earned it. I mean, in, like, in the real world, she has earned it. You know, she is a hard worker. And if we take what has happened, you know, in script, she really turned things around. She made this company, which from what Sammy and Kate discovered, really had some, yeah. some problems there. Uh, and uh, so she got that company running smoothly and efficient, efficiently. And... Uh, I think we're led to believe from the writing that uh, she did a damn good job. Right. You know, and, and she felt good about what she, and, you know, she was even magnanimous to a degree, her chat, you know, because she knows that he's gunning for her, she knows she is, but she has kind of, you know, it's like she kind of admires it too. You know, right. She's not really threatened <laughs> by it. Come on at me. You know, when I first like heard this was training. happening, I actually wondered if maybe it was going to be Chad who, who stole it out from under her. Like I was. Yeah. Like, I think he thought he was going to. Yeah. But he has a little surprise for him, too, so he's not the only one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the, the thing is, um, too, you know, as an actress, I love being able to do that part of Kate's life, too, the business and right. having her involved and she's a working woman and, and all of that. I mean, it was it was fun doing that, so I, I hope to get back to it. We'll see. And I haven't actually seen it, but I heard that the, the outfits in this episode are pretty fantastic. Oh, my <laughs> favorite suit. Yeah, I wanted something... Um, dynamic uh, for that meeting and um, Richard Blore, costume designer, came up with a great suit by Ted Baker. Love it. And um, it's actually a, a, a deep blue with a kind of a black tapestry pattern on it and uh, uh, we added, and she had a crisp white shirt, we added this black tie and, um, and the two guys were both dressed you know, in you know, great suits, I think it were white shirts and black ties and um, <laughs> it just makes a great, a great statement. Like, Has having Chad come into the the battles with the Mara made it? I don't know if more interesting is, you know, but because you, you've been doing it for a while, like shaking it up. And oh yeah, it makes it richer. It's fuller. You know, I, it's been um, interesting to watch the development of that character too, from when we first met Chad um, into where he is now. And I think um, he definitely was a person that Kate felt had potential. You know. <laughs> As a prince in training, um, she might have liked him to be on her team. She definitely would like him yeah. to be on her. She thinks, yeah, he has the potential to be on her uh, team. And of course, she does still see that as you know. We always, not everyone knows this as this, but she is a very loyal person and wants you were part of her group, her tribe, mm -hmm. if not official family. And you pretty much stay there, you know. And I think he is, you know, for many reasons, because of his mother, you know, Madeline, and because of Stefan and the whole connection. So. 
there's a lot of things that she overlooks with him. Yeah. Know? Because I do, I feel like she does have that feel. She has feelings towards him that she would like to mentor him to the position she feels like he should be there. You know, maybe he's a substitute in her mind for Philip. You know, because oh, that's what she saw for Philip. You know, so maybe Chad in her mind is kind of taking that place for her. Mm. So. We'll see. That's and in it, my mind. In your mind. And in the yes. midst of all this, she's still with Clyde? I, I'm so so what, what do you what do you, what do you think of that? <laughs> I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. She definitely likes her bad boys. She does like she's attracted to bad boys. But she's also attracted to the good guys too. It's tricky. I think she's more familiar with the bad guys and uh, she's accomplished a lot in her relationships with them. Right. You know, and I feel like um uh, it's interesting for her, you know, and most of the time they get her and they don't try to change her. So it's easy. Right. But I think in terms of real feelings and affection, it's usually for a good guy. You know, like right. Roman, you know, was, was a good guy. And John Black was a good guy. You know, and yeah, with Jordan gone, Rafe is sort of... He is. Available, isn't yeah, he? Yeah. I mean, he, he wasn't yeah. with her, but he was still kind of stuck there. Yes, I mean, they had a really, yeah. And, you know, they did have an interesting relationship. I mean, actually, he was the most approving of any of, you know, anyone. John Black pretty much was, too. But Roman did try to change her. But um, Rafe is just kind of like... He, oh, my gosh, who have you not been with? It. All right. I'm not the only one. No, recently, people have been tweeting and Facebooking about that, that she's been with everyone. And I don't think, I don't think I'm the only one. I think there's other women who have been with a lot of guys on the show. Well, Salem's a very Sammy. small town. It's a very small town. <laughs> Seriously, I would be a... There was a rash of... She, she goes for long periods of nothingness, <laughs> and all of a sudden there's a rash of, of guys, I guess. But, uh, so do you think she and Clyde work? I think they work in the sense that they both have a lust for power that turns them on, that turns mm -hmm. her on about him, that he has this lust for power and uh, she sees that and uh, he's willing to do whatever and uh, all that bad guy kind of stuff does kind of turn her on but I, I, I feel this is Lauren that it's not anything I've read that <laughs> she also senses there's something that's not right in this situation but she's also looking at and I think right now she's also looking at it because she, the other side of Kate, that we don't talk about, I mean, she has been burned in love a lot. Yes. And she's uh, gotten into, I think, her last few relationships, she got in were either, you know, like, with rape, when it was, you know, they were kind of, you know, booty call kind of thing, but then it turned <laughs> into this friendship, but it was with no um, restrictions on it. They were, you know, but maybe she did develop feelings for him, for sure. And with Stefano, this is a marriage where she was forced into it, then it became a marriage of convenience, and then one for power. So, you know, and then she had this, you know, this tragic love thing that happened with Black, and then with, with Roman. I mean, so... Would you want her to find... I would love... I mean, actually, now I've been thinking about this. I would love for her to actually be in a relationship that was one where she did fall in love. You know, whether it works out or doesn't, but she really does. I feel like she's really protected. Her yeah. for so long. She really has. She's really built up walls. So that's the thing with with Clyde. It doesn't really matter one way or another because she very much protects her feelings. Right. You know? so right. I see some someone break through that. So we're we're gearing up. I'm sure the stories just start where you guys are shooting anyway to gear up for the big anniversary. The big five zero. Can, do you have an idea of where you'd like her to be for well, that? There or? you go. That would certainly work in. <laughs> right. It, wouldn't it? Is it in? <laughs> That anniversary story, I, mean, I don't know, we're just starting. I don't know what the story's going to be at all, but um, I feel like that's a, um, a transition that we need to see. Oh, it would be great to see for Kate. Yeah. And whether it turns out, because we know there's no happily ever after. I'm not asking for a happy ever after. <laughs> Maybe just a month or two. It could even be a, you know, a tragic love story, I don't know. But uh, I, I think I would love to see some that kind of feeling breakthrough now because she has become something of an ice queen now out of necessity right she has to protect herself it's interesting an ice queen and yet i feel i don't know if likable is the word but less love to hate like there was a time where she was so villainous that you could taste it yes yeah i don't think yeah she's she isn't 
I mean, I don't see her that way, but there's been times when she may have appeared to be that way. <laughs> she, but that, if, if you, on the long, if you look at the, uh, the full story of Kate from when I first, you know, first came on, you know, there have been ups and downs, but uh, she's not an evil character, even though at times right. the story might have gone that direction. Um, she is a bit of a narcissist, though, for sure, you know, and, and uh, she does have a master plan that she would really like to see happen, and she can walk all over people, but um, she is a woman, too, I think, who has suffered a lot, mm -hmm. a lot, and the only way that she could survive would be by building these walls and making herself stronger and stronger and really kind of immune to, I mean, she's been kind of a pariah in town, too, so when you're alone like that, there's a lot you have to do to to survive, you know, to mentally, right. to get through things emotionally, and I think she's done that. But we certainly have seen her um, in happier times too, you know, and that's a more fuller, fleshed out woman. And I think that woman is there. I'd like to, I'd like to really see some of that. And I think to really fall in love, you know, we might see that side of her too. Ah. Ah, I just hope and you know, fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, that's a great little good idea. And for the audience too, for those who love to hate or just love Kate, I mean, I, it's, it's we have fun with the character when she does kind of you know fall with with the Ian character I and mean, she thought a bit yeah and that was an interesting period too because he was someone from her past where I thought we we're gonna get more information about it we don't have any information about her past, past. that would be an interesting thing it to get be. into yeah I'd, mm. I'd love to know it's amazing after all these years to not and know we still don't know mother father what happened brothers I mean what happened to actually make her the person she is so Ooh. who knows maybe we'll find out very good. Well, thank you for talking thank to you. us. My pleasure.